I just came across this article on Mediaite. Santorum doubles down. You're not a real Republican unless you curse out an NYT reporter. Following his blow-up at New York Times reporter, little Ricky Santorum stopped by Fox and Friends Monday morning to explain what happened. Yeah, you know. If you haven't cursed out a New York Times reporter during the course of a campaign, you're not a real Republican, is the way I look at it, Santorum quipped. Santorum may have been alluding to the time then Governor George W. Bush was caught on a hype mic cussing out New York Times reporter Adam Klamer. There, uh, there's Adam Klamer, a major league asshole from New York Times. That's exactly what Bush said. They have it right here. There's Adam Klamer, major league asshole from the New York Times. What's wrong with cussing out a reporter? be honest with you, especially these reporters these days. They don't report the news. So what the hell? I don't even understand why people actually sit down and talk to them. But that's what they do. I really don't. I'm serious. I, I honestly don't understand. If you know that the media's agenda is just going to be to screw you over, then why would you sit down with them? Now, you know the New York Times is going to twist everything he says, and they're not going to really print an article that's that favorable to Rick Santorum. Why? Because that's not what they do. Half the stuff they're probably going to make up as they're going along. So, with that being said, why the hell would you bother to go? Just let them make it up anyways and be done with it. I mean, it's not like these guys really, really care. I mean, you take Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney will not go on the Mark Levin show. He will not be interviewed by Mark Levin. No, they return their phone call by telling them that they just don't have time to come on his show. But he ends up going on CNN, MSNBC, uh, Fox News, sits down and talks to New York Times reporters, talks to all sorts of reporters, but he can't take the time to go on the Mark Levin show not once, and talk to him and have questions asked. But little Ricky Santorum, yes, little Ricky Santorum has sat down with a New York Times reporter. He said the word bullshit. I know it's a big time freaking swear, and it does make for great media headlines, especially if you don't actually put the word he said. You just say that Rick Santorum swore. Yes, if you say little Ricky Santorum swore, but if you said that Rick, little Ricky Santorum said bullshit, you'd be going so what, and you'd bypass the media on this whole stinking circus that's being now created because little Ricky Santorum cussed out a New York Times reporter. Now, I'd tell you his name, but to be honest with you, I, should, I can only pronounce the first part of it. His name is Jeff. His name is Jeff, Z-E-L-E-N-Y. That's what his name is. And he works for the New York Times. And I've said, yes, if this was Ocean's 13, it would be. And I've said. But little Ricky Santorum, man, what a scrapper. What a fighter, huh? He said bullshit. I know. I mean, George Bush, I mean, at least he said Major League Asshole from New York Times. All he said was bullshit. I mean, come on, Ricky. Come on, man. Step up your game here. You couldn't have cussed him out better than that. But this is bullshit. Quick, distorting my record. Well, at least George, you know, ah, major league asshole from New York Times, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Tim Donovan, and I'm on the right. You want to know where I am? Just look to the right. You're going to see me watching a little Ricky Santorum. Doubling down on his comments to that NYT reporter on the right side 